I can think of many reasons why being an English teacher is great. Having a stack of essays to grade once a month hmm, might not be among them. But I found a way to use Google Forms to make the process a little easier. And here's how I do it. Uh, what I do is I create a rubric using Google Docs Forms. And let me show you that process. You just click Create in Google Drive or Docs and then click Form. What that does is take you to the form builder. And you can just select a title, essay, rubric. And then what I do is I always begin my questions, my forms with section number when I'm using forms to collect student data. So I change it from text to multiple choice. And then I type in in the title, section number. And then in the options, I just click section number one, two, three, and you can just click enter and that'll, that'll take you to the next, uh, to the next uh, field. I make the questions required, not to be draconian, but it prevents me from forgetting to enter this data when I actually use the form itself. Then click done, and then the next field I usually put student's last name. Make that required as well. Click done. And now I'm ready to build my form that has the criteria I use for the rubric. And you just click on add an item to enter a new type of question. And I use the grid function. Now the grid lets you create multiple questions within certain categories. And so the first category that I have is for an essay rubric is content. And then I have a scale from one to five for each one, each area within that content setting. Now let's go over to a form that I already built, and you see in under content in row number one, I have paper has clear purpose. Row two, specific details, omits unimportant details, carefully thought through and demonstrates knowledge, meets the length requirements. And then I make that required and I click done to stop editing that. And now you see it creates this nice looking grid with the header there and then the sub uh, criteria underneath there and then uh, one through five and I can just as I'm going through the form later I just enter in those radio buttons and you see I've got another section for order with introductions following logical order details fit together compelling ending I have style achieves a formal tone MLA format sentences are active and then editing as well with grammar mechanics spelling that sort of thing and then at the end I include a question that is a paragraph text box and that's where I'll submit any global comments to the paper itself. Now there's actually three different screens you see when working with forms. This is the form editor screen that we're seeing right now. To get to the actual live form that you will use when you edit your when you enter your grades, you can click the link at the bottom and that should take you to the live form. And now you'll see here uh, the form that I, that I built. And here's all of the, uh, the places where you can enter in your data. So let's hop over to a form that I've already populated. I put in the section number, student's last name, and I started typing them in here. And, and entering in data is just as simple as clicking on any of these buttons. Then I enter in my comments, and then at the end I'm just going to click Submit. And here it says your response has been recorded. Now if you've got another essay to grade, you can just click Submit Another Response, and that brings that form up again. So let me show you what happened to that data. You'll see that this is the student with the last name Paige, and here's all of their scores, all the student's scores, in the various criteria. And then at the end you see the comments. Now what you can do here is insert a new column, and I titled it Grade, and I created a formula that adds all of those numbers together, and that's just here, sum, colon, uh, parentheses, E2, colon, X2, parentheses, and that adds up all of these numbers. It does not add up the section number because I have it start with E. Now, it doesn't automatically calculate all that data. What you have to do is hit Command and click down and drag down, and you'll see it apply that formula to all of the other students as well. So Mr. Page here got an 82 on his paper. So that's how, uh, that's the process. And then what I do, and this isn't 
this may not be the most elegant thing to do is, but I just select that row and copy it. And then I'll send an email to that student and then he'll be able to get the, uh, the grades. And I let the students know, I show the students the rubric ahead of time so they know what to shoot for as they're writing their essay. And then they, they'll also be able to cross-reference the numbers they get in the email with their grades so they understand why they got it and then they get the comments. Now, you don't have to build your own form the way I did. I've actually submitted a template in the template gallery uh, that has that form that you can use and make a copy of your, on your own. To do that, just go to Create from Template. And this brings up all the templates. You want to make sure you're in the public template section. And then just search for my last name, B-R-O-O-K-H-O-U-S-E-R. -O -O -E and it should bring up three templates that I've created. And uh, there's the essay machine that some of you have been using. And I'll do another screencast on that. But here is a sample essay form. And you can just click Use This Template. And it creates a copy for you to use. And you can edit it on your own. And then under the C responses, you can go to the spreadsheet. Hypothetically, that's blank. Oh, it's not blank, but you should just clear that. And, uh, and then any new, anything new that you put in there will be submitted. So just go to the template gallery, search for Brookhauser, and you can use these rubric forms, and you can edit them to fit your own needs. So these forms also work really great on tablets. So if you see here, I've got uh, my iPad here, and I just uh, emailed myself the address to the live form and uh, began filling it out by just tapping on the little radio buttons. And you can, you can see here, you just tap to change your answers or to add answers. Type in your comments down below. And I'm going to hit submit, submit. Now while I hit submit, watch what happens to the spreadsheet on the computer. Hit submit. And you see automatically that added this, uh, this entry right here. Now, it didn't calculate the grade. To calculate the grade, again, just uh, click on the previous one that has the formula in it. And then on a Mac, it's Command, Drag. And you'll see that the, uh, the grade will be calculated right there. So let me know uh, if this works for you, if you have any other ideas. If you use the template, you can customize it any way you want. So thanks for watching.